you're about to meet a local musician who's making a ton of dough, so to speak. You'll see what I mean. That's because he's Donnie Duke Dupree, the rock and roll pie guy. And when he's not rocking, he's knocking out dangerously delicious gourmet pies for all to enjoy, just like his music. Dupe set up shop inside the Third Street Bar in Midtown. And if you want great local music and a solid piece of pie, this is definitely your place. I caught Dupe just before his set doing his second favorite thing in the whole wide world. I'm gonna talk to you from back here because you look, you're a man on a mission right now. I gotta get this stuff done, right? Yeah, yeah. I gotta ask you, are you a musician who became a cook or a cook who became a musician? I was actually a fireman and learned how to cook that way. So that was how I did it, man. You know, you learned in the firehouse. Yeah, I had to. That was the pretty much only way to keep from getting messed with all the time, man. Right. But like, I always like to cook, you know? And you know, it's a good way to get girls and stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Third Street's a cool place. This is the kind of place you see down in New Orleans, you see down right. in Austin, Texas. It's got that vibe, that feel to it that I love. Um, and your band plays here. You're still in a band, right? Yep, Duping Inside Outlaws. So yeah, we still got that going. Tell me more about your music. Um, I'm just a songwriter, man. I just, uh, I write about what's happening. You know, I try to write a little bit more about the realer things in life, the darker things that people try and sweep under the rug a lot. And uh, you know, cause I just like to tell people stories, tell my own stories. Hopefully give them something to, you know, feel better about, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> well, you're like a lot of people who reinvent themselves and then discover, hey, this is what I was meant to do. This is awesome. Well, I still want to, man, I still, believe me, I, I still like writing songs, you know. This is kind of sometimes a blessing and a curse because it's like you're here all day and then you go home after work, after closing up, and you stay up till 7 o'clock in the morning writing songs, demoing songs, doing things like that, so. So the, in your heart, you still want to be a musician? Oh yeah, man, I can't yeah. stop writing. I've always, I'll always be a songwriter, you know? That's what I've always felt, the only thing I was ever good at. <laughs> well, getting back, getting back to the pies, what kind of pies, they're not your regular, it's not like peach and cherry, these are like meals, right? Yeah, these are meals, man. Um, you know, we do great, you see here where we're roasting the chickens, we're, uh, Sam was just pulling them. And you know, we do like, it's like, this is like a, a pretty much a chicken pot pie, but I mean like on 10. You know, we roast all the chickens, hand pull them, you know, uh, fry the corn, you know, roast the carrots, roast the red potatoes, everything. It's like, you know, it's not just like we're slapping something together and throwing it in the oven, you know? Right, so these are gourmet, yeah, they're locally they're, sourced. Yeah, they're definitely high-end stuff. I mean, you know, the, we, we do the uh, steak, mushroom, onion, and Gruyere cheese pie. I don't know if you, last time you went and bought Gruyere cheese at the store, it actually, it ain't too cheap, you know? <laughs> so, um, you get a, I think you can get lobster for the same price, but. You know, they're, they're definitely high end. We make them every day fresh. You know, we use all good ingredients. There's just something wonderfully bizarre about this whole concept. You've got this extremely talented artistic songwriter who's making artistic, talented, you know, homemade artesian pies. I think a lot of it goes hand in hand, though. You know, it's like you want to, uh, if you're passionate about something, you should do it right. And I've always been passionate about cooking, you know, even on a smaller scale. But if you like to eat good or you like good music, I guess it goes hand in hand, you know? Well, they say the proof is in the pudding, but in this case, it's in the pie. They're just so good. I really like savory pies, and they have just so much filling inside, and it is just amazing. All the flavors work together, and they are more than willing to make sure that the pies fit exactly what you're looking for. Very tasty. Very good. First time I've ever been here. I will be back. It's, it's everything you would want in one bite. It is absolutely the best. I've had two kinds now, and they're they're delicious. And with more pies in the oven, we got a chance to catch Duke doing his favorite thing. Now this song's called If I Were You, I'd Probably Hate Me Too. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Dupe is one of those guys you just can't help but like. He reinvented himself, he's doing what he loves, and he's making a living at it. 
and here in Detroit, it's becoming easier and easier to find inspired and motivated people like him who are changing the landscape every day. So if you want a city where you can create your own success story and make a difference, Detroit just might be your kind of town. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing Development Authority.